the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Mr. President. Kwa Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good. And all the time. Tuimbe wimbo gani? Ati mmesema Bwana huu sehemu yangu. Aya. Bwana huu sehemu yangu. Yangu wewe katika safari yangu twatembea na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu Jana wewe Mali hapa sikutaka Nini eshimiwe Jana ni kutema shaka Sawasa wana wewe Pamoja Asanteni sana mnaweza keti chini. Our friend and brother Benny Hinn, welcome to Kenya. On behalf of the government and the people of Kenya, and on behalf of our spiritual fathers and the Christian community in Kenya, we welcome you to this great crusade and thank you very much for finding time to visit Kenya after a very long time. When my wife told me that he had visited you and requested you to come to Kenya, I didn't know it was going to happen that soon. But thank you very much for honoring us with your visit. Because you are a great man of God. I will say this today, here in Nyayo Stadium, that the first time I got a revelation that I was going to be president in Kenya is in 2006, during the Azusa 100 celebration of revival in the US and I was there with my wife, and I was there with Reverend Bishop Adoyo and many others, and I couldn't believe that the son from Sugoi would one day be president of Kenya. And because that revelation came during that great celebration of revival, I am certain that God is going to favor this country with another revelation and with another revival in our country that will make Kenya a great nation, not just in Africa, but globally. I can already see a great country in Kenya going into the future. Let me tell you, friends, I have just come from a meeting with the ambassador of the US. You know, and she came to tell me what you already know, that the president of the US has invited the president of Kenya for a state visit one of a kind in 20 years, no African president 
has had a state visit in the US. Let me say again that this country will go places. Kenya is going to be greater than what you see. And it is because we believe in the living God. You remember last year we came to this stadium last year. There was drought in Kenya, as my deputy has said, the worst in 40 years. We've never had proper rains for the last five years. We came and prayed in this field. Many people mocked us and said, look at this ones. But Mungu Ninani. Last year, we had rains because men and women of God prayed. And we had the best rains in the last 10 years. And I want to thank God that already there are signs, there is a writing on the wall that Kenya is going to go blesses. Let me remind you, fellow citizens, the words of Deuteronomy 15.6. that say, for your God, the Lord God will bless you as he promised. God promised to bless Kenya. And it goes on to say, you will not borrow, but you will lend to others. I know we have challenges with our economy, but I want to tell the people of Kenya, we believe in the living words of Deuteronomy 15.6. This country is going to be a country that will lend to others. And I want to tell my brother Benny Hinn, you have in us friends, partners, the people of Kenya. We believe in God and we are unashamed about our faith in God. Asanteni sana, nawapenda sana, nawatakia baraka ya mungu, my friend and brother Benny Hinn, welcome to Kenya. Thank you very much for all those who put this together. Have faith in God because those who believe in God will not be put to shame and we believe in God and God is going to lift us up asanteni sana mungu wabariki